Well, as Joe alluded to in his speech, there's a lot of wind next to Bob Brooks's name if you looked through the pamphlet that Caitlin put together for tonight. And many would call Bob Brooks's 2023 season dominant, and that is correct. But to really appreciate just how dominant Bob Brooks was, let's look at the senior player of the year race and the point gathering window. Points began on May 6th with the final round of the IGA four ball and concluded on September 17th with the final round of the classic. On May 6th, Bob was tied for first after winning the four ball with partner Jim Butler. Two weeks later, Bob took solo lead in the Super Senior Player of the Year ranks following his win at the Iowa mid -Am. Bob never looked back and continued to extend his lead, further separating himself from his fellow competitors and peers. Let's take a look at his remarkable season filled with many, many victories. There is a new sheriff in town for the IGA Super Senior Circuit. His name is Bob Brooks. Bob, in his first full year on the Super Senior Circuit, set records that may never be broken. He won an incredible eight tournaments this past summer, often in dominating fashion. His performances were breathtaking at times. Let's summarize them. Bob's beautiful game is matched by his demeanor. I can testify firsthand that it is a joy to play with him, and you almost don't notice that he is kicking your butt in the process. Congratulations, Bob, on your remarkable summer of tournament golf. You are now an IGA Super Senior Player of the Year champion and a most deserving one, to say the least. I will echo what a number of people said here this evening about our uh, leadership at the IGA. Um, it goes without saying, if you've played anywhere else in the United States, state associations just don't hold a candle to what we have here. And I think in large uh, respect, it produces and helps produce great golfers in our state. So thank you for all you guys do, really. Fantastic. Um, I want to tell one story, and I'm only going to name one person's name tonight. That's well, in a story, and it's about Joe, Palm Joe Palmer. A couple of years ago, we were playing up in uh, Mason City, and I was really fortunate. The first day, I had a really low, really low round, and I was feeling really good about my round and playing. I think I was playing very well. The next day. Was on the putting green, and Joe comes up to me and he says, Hey, nice round yesterday. You really must have been putting well. Yeah, you know, I, I was. And I turned around and I thought a minute, and I turned around and I said, You kind of had an average day, didn't you? I think he shot four under. <laughs> average day for Joe Palmer. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank um, a number of people. My wife, Kelly. I love you more. She continues to work full time so I can uh, have the time that I need to follow this dream and have my uh, playground with my friends. Uh, tonight, I have a number of family members here. My uh, 
son and daughter who are my favorite golf swings of all time. I just love the way they hit a golf ball. Bobby Brooks and Heather Ewan and her husband Marcus is with us. Also my uh, granddaughter, my favorite high school girls wrestler and rugby player. My grandson, my favorite future NBA all-star. And uh, just to announce the 2044 player of the year in Iowa, Grant Brooks <laughs> is over there messing around. Um, I want to just focus on one word, fortunate. And I'd like all of you to take some time this holiday season and think about that word. And think about the people that you've had the opportunity to meet while you play and participate in these events. We have a special group of athletes in Iowa. I've never been anywhere playing golf or any sport where everyone's happy for your success. There's no jealousy. I think people try to learn from the people that are beating them. I think that they focus as players on trying to be the best persons they can be. And I think that makes it very special. What's important to me in golf is the friendships that I make, whether it's with my guys at Des Moines Golf and Country Club and that group, my birdies, eagles, and roaming gnomes down in Arkansas, my buddies in Oklahoma, or my, play, my uh, playmates down in uh, uh, Cartersville Country Club. It's about making those relationships, meeting them, and being there for them when you need them. I'd like to finish by dedicating, uh, dedicating this to my brother Randy. <clears throat> who for the last two years I've taken a numerous doctor's offices. Um, he's had horrific surgeries. He's uh, got bone cancer. It's a terrible disease. But he's never complained about the pain. If I ask him how he's feeling, it's I'm having a good day or I'm having a bad day. He has a lot of courage and uh, as he's told me a number, a number of times, it's not how you start during the day, it's not how you finish. And I think that's kind of how golf is. So Rich, for you, 